Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my one take, my one take New Year's vlog. Oh, the camera's on my bad side, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, hey, wait, I was talking to my, I was talking to my subscribers. Come on, man. Welcome back to Taylor Television. It's day three of the new year. Um, you know what that means. Time to go freshen up the old Botox. So far this year, what we say? We're going to become that girl, which means we're going to get our house clean and we're going to get our fitness and our beauty and our health under control. Uh, part of me looking and feeling my best is getting Botox every three months. I am out of breath from running around getting out of the house. <laughs> I survived COVID, so I'm not usually this out of breath. <laughs> Trying to make it work for you guys. In addition to staying hydrated and staying moisturized, the last piece of my skincare routine, probably the most important part, would be the Botox that I get every three months. Since I'm 30, I'm 37 now, and I've been getting Botox every three months, basically here, here, and here. All my wrinkles are back up here. Uh, this is barely back. I don't know how hard she's going to hit that. That one's fine. My Botox wore off really fast, and I get my crow's feet. Um, the last time I got Botox, it literally stopped working after like six weeks. So a couple things about Botox real quick. It's supposed to last between three and four months, depending. I've had it last between two and four. For some reason, when some people do it, it doesn't last as long. And really what you should do is call the person as soon as you start seeing your wrinkles too early and give them a chance to give you a touch up. Because most places will want to give you a touch up because I want you to be happy with like the service or whatever. I never do that because I'm an idiot. And I just basically find another person. And I like Botox doctor shop so much. I'm actually going to a new girl tonight that I've never been to since moving to New York. Actually, since my dermatologist was the person doing it, I haven't been able to find someone I'm really happy with consistently. We're still on the hunt. If you know anyone on Long Island that you'd recommend for Botox, leave it below in the comments. So um, I guess a couple things about Botox. It doesn't get rid of your wrinkles. It just uh, paralyzes your muscles so that you stop making them. But over time, I have found that mine got way less deep. So mine were, mine were in there. And after, you know, a couple of years of getting Botox, even at first when I got Botox, they um, flattened out enough for like, when I have the Botox, you can't see them at all. When the Botox like stops working and my face starts getting expressive again then they start like coming again so um it doesn't take your wrinkles away it just stops your muscles from making the motions that make you have the wrinkles and my favorite part about botox is its effect on my crow's feet because it actually does give your cheeks like a much fuller more youthful appearance when you don't have those little fine lines on them um you can expect to spend between $350 and $600 on your Botox. Um, these are considered the three main areas, here, here, and here. I usually take about 50 units for all this because I have really strong muscles up here, here, here. 50 is kind of a lot, but I think 50 is kind of like in the middle, but you might be able to get away with a lot less. So as far as cost, it's going to cost you between like $350 and like say $600. I expect to spend probably $500 tonight. Maybe I think it's $11 a unit and I'll need 50 units say. So $550 I'll end up spending tonight. That should last three months. Um, what are other common like questions or misconceptions? I, I feel like Botox is pretty safe. It's been being used for a really long time. The two, um, the two, I guess most dangerous things about Botox are that it can be injected into like a vein or a vessel which is like really dangerous and really not good and that would be an injector that would be a mistake that your injector would make and then being allergic to it basically and having like a severe anaphylactic allergic reaction to it and so those are the two biggest ones I also think there's a thing where like it should be reconstituted fresh I, I don't know um, Botox comes in a dry little powder that you can barely see and they um, inject saline into it and best practice is that you're getting your Botox reconstituted fresh literally right in front of you you know but like also at the same time I think the people who work at the med spa like use the leftovers and I think it's all fine I feel like if Botox if there were that many nightmares you'd be seeing it and hearing about it but then you like will google it and there's like a lot of nightmare stories that you just don't read because you're addicted to botox i would literally spend my last 500 dollars on it because that's how good it makes me feel you look in the mirror you look fresh you feel good and um 
yeah, I'll be doing that until I get into my facelift when I get older. But I also got um, an Opus Plasma treatment to like resurface the skin and boost your natural collagen production. However, I, I don't see any difference and it was expensive and really, really painful. And online, it seems like people love this treatment and I really didn't see any difference. I'm still waiting, but I don't know. I don't think so. So anyway, day three of 365, becoming that girl, feeling our best, looking our best this year. We're going to just keep up with our Botox. It's expensive. It's expensive, but sometimes you just got to bite the bullet, pay the money. You're going to pay just as much for a bunch of wrinkle creams that are filled with fragrances, parabens, and a bunch of bullshit, and they're not even going to work. At least Botox actually works. So I don't know. I feel like you buy the Botox and then you can just use like the cheapest, most basic natural moisturizer. The natural brand I like actually is Ursa Major. I need to order more. I'm out. Um, but that's it, guys. This is my one take vlog for the third day of the year. I'm just trying to get in the habit of posting more content, even if I look like shit. And um, that's going to be the way it is. If you guys have any questions about Botox, leave them in the comments below. I've been getting Botox three or four times a year for the last seven years. And my kids' friends routinely ask me for my skincare routine. And like we said yesterday, drink water, hydrate from the inside out, moisturize on the outside, a humidifier in the winter for your skin. That's another tip. Botox, great little, great little help. And then um, getting my house clean and Botox. So day three and, and I think we have a couple good things to work on. And I think I'm going to just focus on these things for the month. Getting shit clean, getting hydrated, and taking care of my skin for the winter. I think that's a good good three goals for January so you guys can follow along like the video or subscribe to the channel if you want to see what else we're going to do I got a bunch of tips and tricks I'm just a normal girl trying to feel better and I think 2023 is going to be a great year so um yeah I don't know I hope that I taught you guys something about Botox and if you have any more questions leave them in the comments below bye